Hey, at the beginning of every semester, I like to think about the idea of capacity. Much like this tank right here, it has a certain amount of capacity or how much it can hold before it overflows. We're at the beginning of a new semester here. Okay, so us as athletes, as us as coaches or professionals, we're ramping up things. It could be academics, it could be training, it could be preparation for competition. Regardless, we have a finite amount of resources, whether it's uh, central nervous system resources, the ability to produce really um, explosive movements, it, maybe it's the fuel that we have put in our body, maybe it's just attentional focus capacity, but we have a certain amount of bandwidth at any given time uh, throughout um, the semester. So if, if you look at the semester as a line, with this being exams, or our last competition, and this being right now, in this case we're in week two, if we can really focus on getting routines in check, our academics in check, basically our habits, if we can lock those down now during this very beginning of the semester, down the stretch run when competitions happen, when spring or non-traditional seasons happen, when big time training loads come into play, I can handle those much better because I'm not worried about organizing routines, habits in my academics. Right now, early in the semester, I should be focusing on getting everything in order, thinking ahead, where are the big landmarks that may exist for me throughout the semester. I plan ahead, I get my habits in, in, in order so that when I come to these big events, competitions, games, big training weeks, I can dedicate all my capacity to my athletic endeavors, all my capacity to my training. Next time we're going to talk about adaptation and how this actually happens. But right now, early in the semester, focus on getting ahead. Routines, academics, habits. Let's go.